Hello? Good morning, Cousin Flora. Uh, oh, I don't know what to do. I, I, I suppose it's the excitement. A migraine, isn't it typical? And my horoscope promised me a triumphant day. And then a migraine, just as I was stepping into my carriage. Is he here? Is who here? The healer. Oh, you give the most improbable names to the most improbable people, Flora. What is that? My new novel. Isn't it glorious? Well, I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Did you bring it for me? No. No, not exactly. You must read it, though. It's by far my best work. Oh, I do hope the critics notice. A summer's death. In three parts. The book, not the death. It's an ironic title. It's a story about love. A love that endures, though the lovers die. <gasps> there you are. The healer himself. For you. At last. Thank you. I will read it immediately. Oh, yes. Yes, I want you to, but first... Oh! Another migraine. Oh. I'm afraid the body punishes the spirit for being too happy. <laughs> Could you? Would you? If you will excuse us here. Oh, but can I stay? I'd love to see you work a miracle. No miracle, Gabriel. I work with the mind. Flora will cure herself. Oh, no, no, no. It is you who do it. No, 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 no. I merely make suggestions. And you will follow. However, I am not used to an audience. Oh, no, just, just ignore me, Gerard. I'm so fascinated. Where are you now, Flora? I don't know. I, I can't see clearly. Don't you feel the heat? The burning sun coming down on the warm sand beneath your feet? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I, I, I'm in the desert. Mind. What are you thinking? Of the cool night that is coming. That night is here now. And you lie in bed listening to the soft wind blowing. The mind is free. You will wake and forget about everything. The mind is letting loose of all irritations of the day. Yes. Yes. How clairvoyant you are. I am in that desert. You see other reincarnations of me. Open your eyes, your pain will be gone. Open them, Flora. Well, Flora? Now, now my day will start. What did I ever do without you? And now I must go and see your wife. And your wife, too, of course, Gabriel. Come back to Rose Cottage with me after dinner. My own. Well, how many powers do you have, Gerard? You've seen them all, Gabriel. Could you cure me? Could you make me walk again? I wouldn't uh, even attempt it. <laughs> A headache can be cured through the mind. The mind can change. Easily. Flora tells me you're also a clairvoyant. In a limited way, yes. What do you make of this? Most unusual. Some sort of an eerie, I think. Certainly one I have never seen before. Exactly. Where did it come from, Gerard? Go on, use your powers. Can you? Can 
feel any vibrations. I can see a tall woman. A woman, but not dressed as one should be. <laughs> you are a fraud. Don't you ever laugh at me! I told you! Stop laughing! I don't like anybody laughing at me. Well, Gerard, you certainly are worth watching. Maybe I can use you. Yes. Come on the stage. The baggage is at the inn. They'll know that's not true. You've got to get through with this. Now, what's your name? Julia Collins. And what's your brother's name? Barnabas Collins. I've been in America for ten years. He wrote me and said he would meet me here. Let me think about it, Ben. No. You're going to put on these clothes and you're going to walk into this house tonight. But, Ben, it's, it's dusk now. Forget about Barnabas. Get dressed and leave by the back way. At 8.30, you're going to knock on that front door. At 8.30. Migraine back, cousin? No, no, I'm always this way when someone's reading a new book. Especially Gerard, I imagine. Oh, he's opened and produced a whole new world to me. Gabriel, my new book is going to be simply shattering. You've met Letitia, of course. Oh, none of this would have if it hadn't been for dear Gerard. Oh, her powers as a mystic are fantastic. And the story I've worked around them, absolutely incredible. I will call it... Whispers from heaven, because her powers must have come from above. Some people might say that Gerard doesn't come from that place at all. The black arts are not usually connected with our maker. Black art? Oh, I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Mrs. Collins. Good evening, Mr. Stokes. Well, Ben, you've decided to join us. What's the special occasion? I just felt the need of some company, that's all. <laughs> we were discussing the occult, Ben. I don't know nothing about any of that. Oh, yes, you do, Ben. Remember the, the legend? The legend of Angelique, rumored to be a witch? Here in this house? Yeah, she was a servant girl from the British West Indies who eventually married Barnabas Collins. It was a long time ago. Best forgot. Oh, you knew her, Ben. Was she a witch? You're being very rude, Gabriel. You don't have to answer that, Mr. Stokes. Why are you looking at the clock, Ben? Just a bit later than I thought it was. That's all. Ain't that a carriage I hear? Are you expecting someone? No, no. Just I could have swore I heard a carriage. I should be at Collinwood, but I can't meet that family, not now. Barnabas is summoning me, I know it. What if he isn't? What if it's my imagination? Barnabas is here. I know it. If his spirit has not made the journey through time, he will not know me. 
Barnabas. Barnabas Collins. You can hear me. Must. It's Julia. Julia Hoffman. You must recognize my name. <laughs> Barnabas. Let your spirit reach out to me. Let me feel its presence. Barnabas. took her in the carriage. You're to go to Rose Cottage after you finish the novel. Orders from the authoress herself. Now, by the way, how is it? Fascinating. <laughs> Do you ever really say what you think? Except when you're angry? I was fascinated at your reaction and when I laughed at you yesterday. Your eyes were mad. You could have killed me. If I weren't capable of anger, I wouldn't be much of a man now, would I? And you are a man. A rather dangerous one, I imagine. Only to my enemies. A man with powers. You see, Gerard, I have decided that you do have special power. Then why did you laugh at me when I told you who that earring belonged to? It was odd. A woman who does not dress as women do. I, I found it a perplexing statement. But then, women around Collinwood wouldn't wear such a thing at all. Where did you find it? Well, you tell me you're the one with the special powers. I charge for my services. And you know that I am poor. The poorest of the rich Collins. But not for long. Not for long. I found the earring the children's playroom, a room that is seldom used since Pad's death. Who left it there? Who could that earring belong to? looking at me? No. Mr. Barnabas, it's 1840. Oh my God. You are still the same. The same. You told her about me. No. She's going to Walk out of here. She will tell. Get out. 
Get out! Do not let us go! You must! Why? You don't know what's happening. I'll find out. Mr. Barnabas, you want my help? Like you did before? You need my help? Family, my father. Your father's been dead these many years. I'm the last left. The boy, Daniel, he must be alive. An old man now, dying. Everything's changed, Mr. Thomas. Woman. You are making me take chances. Barnabas, listen to me. The story, it's strange. Maybe you can understand it better than I do. He always did. She said she comes from another time, the future. She says she knows you're there. God, mad, old man. More than a hundred years from now, someone will come and let you out of your coffin. Ben! Mr. Panvis, I believe her story. She says in the future you can send your spirit back in time. When she come here, when she opened your coffin, she expected you to know her. She expected you to help her. Help her. How can I help anyone? She's alone in a time she don't know. Bad time for us all, Mr. Barnabas. I will find out for myself. No. Mr. Barnabas, no. You expect me to go back there? You think that I'll let you chain me in again? You've got to. I've been there for over 40 years. I cannot do it. This curse. This curse. I cannot stop it. Mr. Barnabas, you don't understand. Everything's changed. The village. Don't go there. I must get out, Ben. I must. You'll get caught. I I cannot stop this craving. I cannot. Mr. Barnabas, please don't leave this room. Please, for your own sake, Mr. Barnabas. Ah! 